Okay, so today we're talking about the Resident Evil 2 remake. This, folks, is the Resident Evil 1 remake. At one point, it was only available for the Nintendo GameCube. And uh, as for the gameplay that you're looking at, uh, that's from Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles on the Wii. They basically had a Resident Evil 2 level in that game. So in a way, Capcom did technically already, I guess, remake Resident Evil 2 for that game on the Wii. But obviously, you know, don't use that gameplay as an example of what the remake is going to be all about because that game is for the Wii. It came out years and years ago. So anyway, this, in my opinion, is how you remake a game. They stayed true to the source material. But at the same time, they added new things to kind of spice it up a bit. New areas, new enemies. It's a really freaking good game. Directed by Shinji Mikami. Two discs on the Nintendo GameCube. You gotta absolutely love it. In my opinion, one of the best, if not the best, Resident Evil games of all time. And I really hope, honestly, folks, I really hope Capcom used this as an example as they were developing the Resident Evil 2 remake. Because this is how you do it. Anyway, the 21st of this month is coming up soon. Coming, coming, coming soon. And I'm going to tell you something right here right now. I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm like, Capcom, did you listen to the fans? Are we going to be playing the Resident Evil 2 with the classic Resident Evil style of gameplay? Or is Capcom going to take a more modern approach with the Resident Evil 2 remake? Obviously, we will find out more than likely on the 21st, but... I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> and the thumbnail for this video is Resident Evil 3. And I'm going to be honest with you. I like Resident Evil 3 a lot. In fact, I like Resident Evil 3 more than I do Resident Evil 2. And I hope that if the Resident Evil 2 remake comes out and everyone likes it and it sells very well, that they go ahead and move forward with the Resident Evil 3 remake. That would be absolutely amazing. Because I feel like Resident Evil 3 is one of those games that gets overlooked a lot. I mean, yeah, I know it has Nemesis in it. Nemesis is a very, very iconic Resident Evil character. But the game itself is like, eh, just kind of brushed under the rug, you know, swept under the rug. And it's like, people talk about Code Veronica. People talk about Resident Evil 2. People talk about the original Resident Evil game. And everyone's like, Resident Evil 3, they just kind of don't talk about that game. And I'm wondering why. I mean, I thought it was one of the... I, like I said, I think it's just incredible, Resident Evil 3. I mean... The gameplay was better than it was in Resident Evil 2. They added in new things like the dodge mechanic uh, in terms of like storylines. They added like choices you could make. Like when you first approach Nemesis in Resident Evil 3, there was an option like, hey, do you want to fight this dude right now or do you want to jump into the Raccoon Police Station? And uh, I don't know if those choices really mattered at the end of the day, but uh, it was exciting to see and welcome additions, you know. And... Um, yeah, that's Resident Evil 3. So anyway, Resident Evil 2, the remake, Capcom is updated on their social media. You guys more than likely know this, all this stuff by now. Even the developers on Twitter are like teasing little images of, of stuff. And it's like, bro, we're getting something soon. So obviously the 21st is when it's going to happen. And I got to ask that question again because there might be new people here, uh, you know, that, that, that have dropped onto this video and they haven't watched my previous videos. But what type of gameplay... Would you like to see? Would you like this classic style of Resident Evil to return? Or would you like a more modern day approach? I wish we could kind of create a poll or something like that to kind of see where people stand. Because I feel like a lot of a lot of the newer Resident Evil fans are... Um, they're a little bit louder than the classic Resident Evil fans. At least that, 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 that's, that's how I see it. So uh, I'm a classic Resident Evil guy, and I want the fixed camera angles, the tank controls, and the pre-rendered backgrounds to return. Now, is that going to happen? Probably not. Probably not. You know, it's modern day cop coming again. This was directed by Shinji Mikami, so maybe that's why that was so good. But the 21st will be very telling, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm super, super excited. I will be obviously making a video on that day. Uh, talking about what they have have released in relation to the Resident Evil 2 remake and man we've been waiting for this thing since 2015 at least I have and it to know that it's finally here is absolutely incredible I'm excited but at the same time I'm a little I'm cautiously optimistic let's just put it that way because Capcom could potentially I'm not going to say they could screw it up, but they could they could screw it up you know what I mean so we'll find out on the 21st if you enjoyed this video please consider hitting that like button. You don't have to. I'm not pushing it on anyone. But if you did enjoy this video, please consider doing that. And, uh, you know, leave your comments down below. 
and we can have like a chill discussion about the Resident Evil 2 remake. So Joey will be back on the 21st of this month, and uh, we will be talking all about what Capcom has shown off in relation to the Resident Evil 2 remake. Thanks for watching.